Um, in terms of traveling and like meeting people and dancing, um, you know something great about Liquid and Digits? It's something like, it's one of the very few dances you can sit down in the car or the cafe and still be dancing. You know, so I remember like one time, like, I know, um, what was it? So, Matt and I, Kai and I went to Baltimore to see uh, Matt Hadouken. And um, we were in this cafe and um, we were just talking about digits. And um, we were basically, it, we sat there for, I don't know, two or three hours just doing really stupid stuff with our fingers. You know, like, stupid, but it was so fun because um, even if there wasn't like, you know, like bumping what they were playing, they were playing like, Oh, jazz or oh, Dixie Band or something, but um, <laughs> you know we were vibing off each other and um, even in car rides like um, to Detroit, I remember um, David uh, the screen. Uh, I guess he's a popper, but um, you know and Kai uh, went down, down to Detroit like last year. You know just being able to show each other little tricks with our hands in the car, like, woo, you know, and like I think. Um, yeah, I, I really love those small experiences um, with dance, and of course, um, just being at you know like Detroit, um, just with the Republic crew and that crew, you know, we all all the guys we meet and that work with, um, I'm just you know just dancing, not caring, not no competition, just going out there, just having fun and vibing off one another. And I want to say that. Um, one of my best experiences is on this trip so far, you know, we're at the end of our trip. We just drove through the night from South Carolina on back to Champaign here. Um, actually, we were at New York to South Carolina and Champaign. Like, ridiculous. But, um, just meeting people and interviewing them, hearing their stories. Not just, not just their dance, not just dance, you know. Not just seeing what their dance is, but understanding who they are and who they are that makes their dance. More hybrid styles of liquid um, emerge. Not only styles into liquid, but liquid into other styles. Um, even like that, you know, modern dance, for example. I think modern dance is a great arena for liquid to influence, and it's a great um, dance for liquid to be influenced by. Um, so, even choreography, for example. Um, I remember seeing Scott, uh, Scott and Brian do um, choreographed liquid. And you know the LPC doing choreograph with it, and I'm like, wow, you know, we could really go somewhere with that. Well, I would like to see more choreography involvement also. Um, I would also like to see more involvement um, of females. Um, just dancing, you know, watching dance. I like a ballet, for example. You watch ballet, a man can be graceful and a female can be graceful, but they're graceful in their own ways. You know, God created man and female different. Man and you know, male and female differently, and I feel like even having that female perspective on dance, um, the female perspective on life is totally different than what you know we see at, to begin with. So even having that on liquid and digits, I think can push the style a lot. So I would like to see more female involvement, definitely. Um, to get that stuff to happen, and I think people just have to. Well, first of all, not many people see liquid as what it is. Um, they see it just as a rave dance and not as a art form. And I think one of the first steps to seeing all that stuff is that we gotta get this dance out as an art form and for people to appreciate it, for people to understand it, and people to take it to the next level. You know, so. Practically speaking, I don't know what that means. I think it's different for every dance, every liquid dancer, every digits practitioner. You know, for one person that might be going to clubs and spreading it, for another person that might be uh, sitting, going into a dance studio and like asking you to teach classes, for someone else that might be just um, you know put clips on the internet or make instructional videos. I don't know, but um, I guess what that all encompasses is that. Um, we always gotta do our parts and you know, not slide off I guess, not let this dance die.
Huh? Don't give up. I think number one reason, number number one reason I see newcomers drop off is um, they give up because they don't achieve what they want to achieve in the first month. You know, um, it's a style. Any, any dance style, a style to be understood as well as or, or as well as um, um, even just you know understanding the mechanics of it, understanding um, what can be done with it, um, takes time, and being able to physically do something might not mean you understand it, understand how to use it. Part of you know, liquid is we learn the concepts and how it moves, and to understand the concepts, to, um, to grasp what you can do with the concept, it's going to be a little longer than being able to copy a move. So I would say don't give up. Practice hard. Think about it. Put lots of thought into it. Um, it's not just um, hey, let's. Um, I want to look at that guy, and I'm just gonna do what he did. So I can like him, but um, to understand why he's doing the things he does in order to achieve even remotely something close to the illusion that he's getting. So yeah, patience and practice and keep your passion.